Welcome back to our Planet Coaster Challenge Park again, guys. I'm really, really excited to get this episode started. I've actually been, between episodes, super excited just playing around in this game, doing stuff, not actually in this park, but in other places, a little bit of stuff actually in this park. But we've got a lot of stuff to do today, a lot of really ridiculously awesome stuff to do today, a lot of ridiculously awesome things to speak about today. So first of all, uh, between the last episode and this episode, I did a little bit of a, a thing over here. I don't want to do that there. I did a little bit of a fountain over here in this area with a bit of a facade over there and a very sneaky little garden. Overall, I think it looks very, very good. It just suits this area quite well. I haven't gone too crazy with it, but of course, I, I like it. As I say, it's pretty awesome. Now, what I want to really talk about is there's some pretty big things happening in Planet Coaster Land. And one of those is uh, pretty cool, actually, for a lot of people who have been asking me the same questions or at least expressing the same thoughts that you guys want to get your hands on this game. Because this game, honestly, you will have hours upon hours upon ridiculous amounts of hours of fun with this game. It is an absolutely awesome game. And the question that I always am getting is uh, when is a good time to buy it? And currently right now is a great time to buy it. If you guys are watching this video at uh, a close enough date, of course, to the <laughs> of course to the actual launch of this video, there is currently a ridiculous sale on this on Steam. And there's a link, obviously, down in the description on where you can, well, directly to the page, the Steam page, and where you can get it and all that. It's, it's just really, really cool because currently it's cheaper than Minecraft. And that was the, the, only, the only thing I've seen people say that they have waited for this game was because they thought, you know what, it's a little bit expensive. And I personally think it was a fairly fair price, but you know what? Right now, there's absolutely nothing standing in your way. If you guys want to get your hands on it, as I say, just check it, check on it over there. I'd recommend at least having a look at it. It's ridiculously cheap, and overall, you will have hours of fun. That's all I'm saying. Really, really cool game. Now, uh, as we go on this way, I've got a few little things to talk to you guys about the episode. Between the last episode and now, there is the 1.4 update for Planet Coaster, which has added some really, really interesting new things in the game. We've got, for instance, in the in the nature tab, we've got some autumn autumn trees, which are really, really neat. So we've got this variant and obviously the first variant. Very, very simple sorts of things. Little things around the game, which are really, really neat. There's some new rides. There's a few other things which we're going to touch on. But in relation to this being the park management, we're in a challenge mode. There's a few really, really interesting things. So first of all, our staff now. I don't want to get too into this in the beginning, by the way. I'll just show you very quickly. Our staff now actually can get a staff room, and you can mess around with them. You can, for instance, go here. Let me go into this guy. And I think it's around here. There's a, a thing. Okay, maybe maybe not. There's meant to be a, a, a place where I can change attributes. But I know for a fact, if you guys are using these parks, if you're having some struggles, and you're like, why can't I do anything? Why can't I manage my staff? There's a button. Click that. Click apply or okay. Then <laughs> apply. Go crazy for it and uh or with it my apologies and now hopefully this will this will show us these things oh unless maybe i'm just doing it wrong there we go so we got energy levels on this guy now we've also probably unlocked the thing that i was looking for no okay never mind but you can get staff attributes that's all i'm saying this there's, there's certain things you can do to staff and you can now make your staff really kind of manage them a bit more than what you've done before which is i think a really really cool way of uh, adding something a little bit extra into the game so let's get started on my first build for today, which is going to be the next issue we have in this park. If we go around to management, we go to our overview. These poor people, they just want a little bit of food. Almost a third of them, 28%, that's almost 30%. Pretty close, pushing a third, I'm giving it a bit of extra because we need this thing. We're going to get built going on building a brand new, let's go to shops, a brand new pizza place. And we could also do a, a beef place as well. Uh, or a milkshake, we've got milkshake. You know what, let's do a... I'm assuming a hamburger shop with chief beef. I'm pretty sure it's a hamburger shop and a pizza place as well While also getting ourselves a staff building in here because I want to show you guys what this thing does It's really really neat and of course doing a food court being this little area over here We're gonna we're gonna spruce it up a little bit more. This is just basic planning We haven't got a very well laid out park I understand that but we're doing this just to test out challenge mode and have fun in challenge mode and What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of an archway over here going over there and we'll, we'll just do some interesting things around here that's what we're going to be be doing and really the cool cool thing uh which isn't i don't think as crazy but i think it's a really cool little thing to add into the game is like these benches remember i showed you guys a bench in the very first episode we have these over here we now have actual tables that we can put down for people to sit at enjoy the meals 
and just overall have a really good time at. So that's a, that's a really, really neat little thing to add onto this game. And what I want to do here, by the way, let me just get rid of that and that. I actually want to make this over here. Uh, and let me just go a bit further out that way. I think if I do that there and maybe one more, I could be able to do a really nice little path around here. Make this a little bit wider. Don't want that to do those. Yeah, get as close as possible. There we go. Sometimes with this game, you can get a little bit very, like, sensitive, I guess, <laughs> uh, to get a very, very near thing. But there we go. Close enough. Close enough for me. In fact, what I might just do is I might just go like that and put these in here. So this is just a, a few of the bits that are just a bit difficult to get done. That's all right. We've got this. We've got this covered. Let me just see if I can get that right. No. Okay. There. And now there. Perfect. So getting that as close as possible to that so that I can make a nice little circle around here. That's what I'm going for. And of course there, I'll have to do this one over here and do these here. So what I want to do now, as I say, I want to get like that little bit of an archway that I was talking about. Get rid of those there. Put that in there. That'll be all right. I can, I can work with that. We can, we can work around with that. So I get these things in here. I'll do a little bit of a time lapse right now because, I mean, who doesn't love these time lapses? They're absolutely awesome. They're a lot of fun for me to do at least. And they really are a lot of fun to watch. I think in general, Planet Coaster is a game all about time lapses. And why the hell did I have that over there? Interesting. Never mind. All right. So we'll just keep going on this and I'll be right back. There it is, guys. I think that this is a nice little simple thing. Not too, too crazy, but pretty enough for us to call a pretty cool food court. And I've got a few things that have happened. Look, everything's paused. Very, very important. I will explain that in just a few seconds. But I thought I'd just quickly go through a few little pointers that I've got here. And then we'll carry on from what, I, what I've learned. By the way, I've learned building in like little pieces, modules, has been amazing. I'm keeping on learning more and more things. So you can see there's a lot of these sorts of things here that I've just managed to repeat over. That has been really, really cool. And also just speeding up our buildings in general uh, has been a really, really good idea. So that is a very little good uh, good tip. If you guys are, are struggling with your building or maybe it's taking a while, just think about copying stuff over a lot. That's, that's helped me a lot. And then also, by the way, we've got in our staff room over here, which is over here, the staff building. And there's a cool little thing that I want to do with it, but uh, we'll, we'll come to that uh, very, very soon. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll have a look at that. So that's, that's what we're looking at right now. This nice little building over here, housing these two things. And then eventually we've also got the, the staff building on the back there. What is happening though? Look at this guy. Look at poor old, is this Rayleigh, wasn't it? Rayleigh Luther, not having a good day. 
There we go. May Turner, I think it is. May Albert, sorry. Not having a good day. Does, doesn't seem it. Very un unenergized. Very much not happy. So that is the reason why I've paused this game. Because if we go around here, we have got ourselves a very low energy, kind of unhappy workforce. So we'll pre press, uh, press play and go down here. And we should see that these people now turn around and go and use this room if everything goes correct. Capacity of three, I think, keeps us from having a monthly park cost. It sure does. And what we can do with this staff room is we can give these staff a perk. They can give uh, more resilience against being overworked. Uh, just, just a general perk for staff to feel a bit better. So what we really could do, uh, they'll recover energy slightly faster. They'll we don't we don't want that we don't want these specific ones i guess so rec room could be kind of useful to us or just in general that like that sort of stuff could be like really really interesting so we'll, we'll do that there confer for 100 bucks yeah let's do it is that an extra hundred dollars a month i think yeah you know what that's all right that's all right we'll, we'll get our vendors back look at these guys they're all kind of unhappy we'll just speed that up a little bit and then i'll go through a few other little things that i was i was thinking would be a cool idea one thing that I thought would be a really, really cool idea was to show you another little trick. So over here, let's let's just maybe pause. And the reason I'm pausing here, uh, okay, staff can be rehired. So someone has quit. Let's just quickly get that. So they've just quit rehire for 80 bucks. Sure, let's do it. And what I was going to do here is I was going to be decorating this area with the next really, really cool things, which were the, obviously those tables. And some other stuff here. So if we go around to props, I think, wait, I'm in scenery. There, that's where I have to be. If I go around there and I go to, I think it is in this tab here. Some really, really cool things that I want to just add to this area. Just a whole bunch of scenery. And I've waited for this just so I could show you guys this. Whereabouts, is this? That's not, no, no, no. That's not the card I'm looking for. This over here. Still not the card I'm looking for. There's a really cool little, uh, little, cart that has got some stuff on it which is going to be a very cool thing just to put around here and, and just create some some like uh decoration here we go market wheel barrow wheel thing i don't know put that over there we'll, we'll just put the slap bang in the middle here right we can see that person's going to walk through it so i'm just going to go slow down press play maybe a little bit faster no they're on their way back here Oh, they quit. Sorry, that's why. So we'll just speed this up a little bit. And you'll see that because of the way this game works, uh, scenery can be walked through. And this guy doesn't really care about scenery. But what we can do, let's just check this guy's happiness. A little bit happier. I can do more work than this. Beautiful. We'll, we'll, we'll mess around with that soon. Uh, but because of this over here now, these people are walking straight through them. But there's a brand new bunch of blocks. These, all these right over here... That I can, for instance, do this, put this right in the middle of it. Let me just put this right over here. I'll actually put it just under the ground so that it actually counts over here for being on top of the ground. And what we should see now is next time some people come through, let's just speed things up a bit. We should see people being walking around this because they want to go around barrier blocks. That's a really, really cool thing. That is actually very, very cool. And let's check. Is this getting fixed? Yes. Good. We were not out of money soon. So let's get into this here. Okay, here we go. Test, walk around. Yep, beautiful. Look at that. That's that's really, really cool. It just makes your guests actually take that into account and do these things. You can see there, look at that. That's actually a problem. I actually have got no idea why that's the case because there's no connection over there. But of course, very, very simple. I could just go ahead and put some of these in here. I could actually be a little bit more rough with these. I could perhaps do this over here like that. And just drop it underneath a little bit doesn't have to be completely accurate and we just want to make sure that we get these guys not looking in this direction they just find another way of going and and ignore this way so we'll do that there we'll do another one again just over here like that and now these guys should all go around and we'll just drop these oh okay yeah of course they they're not a building I have to I have to do these each one one at a time there we go. And I could I could obviously connect them to a building. But that's just a really, really cool thing. Very, very cool thing. These guys now walk around as if they, they don't need it. We still have to fix that area up there. Probably these areas around here. 
So that is a very, very interesting little thing to add to the game. I thought it was really, really neat. And I'll show you guys. And look at that. Staff are going back happy again. We solving, we fixing this business every single day. How's that for you there? And people are just kind of all happy. We can train them up. We can look for other things like that. And that that's really important. We can also have a look to see May Albert might need an increase or something like that. We can see what May's, May's problem is. Can't complain. I've got a pretty good... I could do with more cash, mate. You know what? Thanks for asking. There we go. Got got some more cash. So th these are some really, really cool things to do. And I thought it was just a, a nice, fun thing to show you guys over here. And by the way, uh, before I do forget, thank you very, very much for the past few episodes. I, I, I have to I have to just remember to say this, guys. As I say, I've been enjoying Planet Coast and it's been a very, very different sort of series. And thank you, everybody, for, for all the crazy cool... Uh, support on the series and the really really awesome likes around the series it's uh it's really really awesome not to mention the positivity in the comments that is actually like the most overwhelming thing to be honest i wasn't sure that you guys would like this this series in general uh but obviously you guys do and that is very very cool very like incredibly awesome and uh i i was just overwhelmed by that so thank you very very much uh for all the cool positivity in the comments uh, by the way, we've got fairy tale picnic benches. These are the ones I was thinking would be kind of cool. Can maybe go something like this. Although it doesn't really feel this like it, it should be in this area, to be honest. Yeah, you know what? Maybe maybe just a, a plain picnic bench would do do wonders over here, like that maybe, and that. Yeah, that it probably needs a little bit more thinking there something like that yeah like that maybe and then we can also go ahead and start decorating these tables so for instance this is just uh some stuff i've been playing around with like using using whatever you get here and just reskinning it by by adding in some other interesting little bits and pieces for instance we can make this table look a bit more like okay that's a bit longer than i was expecting still longer than i was expecting still here we go can make it look like our own sort of table we could do something like this and and make it, it all wooden just drop that in there as if it's if, as if it's actually in there and by the way i've i've actually got some cool stuff hopefully coming out very very soon with planet coaster over here and i've been i've been messing around outside of this series doing some cool little things for instance doing some attempted time lapses because the kind of building we're doing in this world is very very simple i think for for what we can do with this game and this there is some absolutely crazy stuff out there and of course building is my thing i love my, me some building if you guys know me and i think uh we will give some time lapses a try and i've got a really cool build that i'd like to show you guys and hopefully you could give me some feedback on it i think uh i've got a lot to learn with it and i have learned a lot since i've made it but uh i'll i'll, I'll get around to that world and we're on that world right now. This over here was my attempt at a haunted house. I started trying to add like little details in here, play around with this, and I was thinking doing of doing sort of things like this, props maybe, not necessarily a roller coaster itself, but doing sort of things like houses and props we could use around parks and making making blueprints of them as I go around, messing around with this stuff. And I, this was my attempt at a little bit of a haunted house you can see the back is kind of just a boring back but the front here I've managed to actually pack in a lot of really cool details and this is where I'm I'm in my element like these sorts of things I really really enjoy and in fact I've got a lot of tips and uh, things that I've learned from building this house over here so what I'm thinking of doing is trying out a time-lapse build of just some really crazy cool stuff like this and maybe talking you guys through what I've done and just in general, doing some really neat building, which is what I, as I say, love doing. That's my, my thing. And this game, it quite clearly allows you to do some crazy, crazy building. And I think this is this is really something I would love to love to play around with. For instance, look at this. Like, little things like adding in your own arches in there. Like, these all little bits and pieces. Stuff like that. Oh, let me unclick that. Just little, little things. I really, really like it. Uh, so... For today guys i think we will call that an episode i hope i have shown you guys some interesting sorts of things in this episode i'm of course absolutely loving this game and by the way do not forget if you guys were interested in the game currently 
go get get on it go check it out link is in the description right now and also thank you very very much for watching of course and as i say thank you for the positivity guys and i hope you guys have enjoyed it and i will see you in the next one